Overlord Zone here. Gonna be playing some Pokemon Sword. Been a minute since I last recorded. I'm trying to do, uh, to do recording on Pokemon Legends Arceus, but for some reason, I don't know. That game just, I can't get myself to play that one. Welcome one and all. Welcome to the wonderful world of Pokemon. Our beloved Galar region is a wonderful place with thriving nature. Beautiful cities and many Pokemon which we share our lives. As you know our society is able to thrive. Thanks to the help of, from these mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon are all around us, in the sea, in the sky, and even with us in our town. And those of us who choose to raise and train Pokemon do battle and compete. We call po Pokemon trainers. Oh, but I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose. And it is a pleasure to be here. Now turn your gaze to the Galar region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for Champion Leon's exhibition match. Ambition or not, Leon, your pristine record is about to end when I beat you here today. You know I don't lose battles, right, Hot. Charizard Dino. Hello, hello. Oh, that's your flash new phone, Ozone. Were you watching Lee's exhibition match on it? But you can't cheer on, cheer him on with your handful. You know, the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be with a famous Charizard pose. I didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to get Ozone. Never mind watching the match now. I got it recording at home anyways. I record all my brother's matches. Come with me, Ozone. We should be here. He should be here any, mo any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits. So I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. Now I've got to run. See you in at mine. See you at mine later. Forget the bag of ridiculously big.
I don't need a guide. Oh, don't you look a treat. Oh, don't you look a treat? I knew that bag would suit you. Now hurry along, Hop is waiting, isn't he? But remember, no going into the forest for the two of you. That's just weird, or whatever. What I like about this game is that we're not really chibis. Uh, have, have a look at you, Ozone. That old bag looks like it could pull o you over. At least we know that it should hold anything we might bring, even if it is, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. Hey, Wolu, but what's it doing there? You silly Wolu, I see that what you're up to. Don't go using tackle on the fencing. Now you listen, no going past the fence, no. Everyone knows there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering world. Well, now that that's taken care of, how about it, Ozone? Let's race, but I can make it to my house first. What's with you? Bet I can make it to my house first. What with you lugging about that big old bag? Postwick, a farming town since the day of old, where people and their Pokemon live in close harmony. Eh, I don't want to talk to that guy. Um, is he here? There you are at last, Hot. Oh, and you brought along Ozone here. Hello, dear. Yeah, yeah, but where is Lee? Have you got him crammed in the cup cupboard cupboards? He's still not here yet. For the hundredth time, honestly, Hot, you must learn some patience. Probably only just arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. Then that's where I'm going. You know Lee is hopeless with direction. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, will you? Yeah, that probably is for the best. You got to come with Ozo. You still never met my big bro, right? You can't miss out on your chance to meet the undefeated champion. I'll wait for you on the route. Let's get a move on. Only remember Ozone, wild Pokemon can come out of nowhere if you walk through the p patches of tall grass. I got my Wooloo with me, so I'm ready for battle against wild Pokemon of course. But not you Ozone, so we'll steer clear of the tall grass as we go. Route 1 Let's go and meet Leon Lee at the station. It's dead ahead from here. Hello, hello, Wedgehurt. Your champion, Leon, is back. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battle for you all to watch. It's our unbeatable champion, Leon. You and Charizard are the greatest. Well, thank you for that. I hope you'll carry on, all carry on on your training, up your Pokemon, and never shy from battle. Then, come challenge me for the champion title. We're on it. We've all been working on our battle skills like you've taught us. To Lee. 
but that Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Too, too true that Charizard is blazing strong, but other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want the strongest of challengers to fill the gym challenge and come battle me. My wish is for Galar Trainer to work together to become the strongest in all the world. Lee. Ha. Ah. So my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Ha. Ah. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since the last time I saw you. Bingo. That's the sort of sharp eye that kept you undefeated so so long, eh, Lee? And these bright eyes over here. I got it. You must be Ozone, am I right? I've heard loads from, about you from my little brother. I'm the Galar Region's greatest ever Pokemon champion and a massive Charizard fan too. People call me the unbeatable Leon. Come on Lee, and you Ozone, bet I can beat the both of you back home. That's how. Always wanting to be the best, isn't he? With the prior, proper rival of his own, I bet he pushed himself to become tru something truly special. Well everyone, I bid you farewell for today, but don't you fret. I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion tie. Come on Lee, you promised us a present, so out with it. You brought Ozone and me Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift for them from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. Take a good look, you two. The grass type Pokemon Kruki, the fire type Pokemon Core Bunny, and the water type Pokemon Sabo. Alright, line up everyone. Which will you choose? That's a good question. I think Gorbunny, because that's my favorite out of these three from this region. Go on, you pick first. I've already got Wo my Wooloo after all. Oh, I can pick. Okay. Pretty sure it's going to be Scorbunny. Definitely gonna go with Scorbunny. Scorbunny is a fire type. It's filled to birthing with fiery passion. You're set on the fire type Pokemon Scorbunny? Yes. Yes. It's male. Name him Stan. Big fan of American Dad, so. I'm gonna be trying to use character from American Dad for the name of my Pokemon. This playthrough. So it'll be Score Bunny for you. Nice one. Then I'll go with Grookey. You're mine. I'm aiming to be the next po champion. So be ready. You and I will be doing some serious training. I bet you will be hot. That's why I brought along these Pokemon for you and Ozone. So the two of you can battle and train and grow stronger together to try and reach me. The one left alone. And you'll come with me. Charizard will be show you the ropes. He's strict but real strong and real kind too.
All right, enough of all the trainer nonsense for one night. Dinner ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon and let's all eat. The next day. You spent the whole night with a new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting on alright? Understanding one another? Maybe even built up a bit of love? Of course I have, Lee. I was one made fast friends with his score bunny too. Then listen up, new trainer. Believe in yourselves and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rival for me, the, the unbeatable champion. What are you looking at him for, Lee? I'm going to be coming to challenge you. If you think Ozone might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival. But I'm not planning to lose to him and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know. Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle, too. Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself a prop such a proper trainer already, huh? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend if he's up for it. What do you say? Willing to, willing and ready to take Hop on in the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Yes. Believe in your partner, Pokemon, and care for them too with all your heart. Do these two things and I'm certain you'll learn to choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. And more importantly to have a champion time battling with them. Looks like everyone's on board. Pokemon and trainer alike. Then let's do this. I watched every match that Leon that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. Dang, there's so much dialogue in the game. I've forgotten that. Pokemon battle it is then. I got two partners. Dang, not enough time. I have, oh, I don't even have an Ember? Lane. I'm not mistaken, I'll level up from this and then get him. There we go. It's not over yet, I've added another truck, the ally to my team. Did you already know about type advantage? And that's that. You defeated Pokemon Trainer Hot. You beat my two Pokemon with your one, and you and that core bunny are too much. Well, that was a shock. Guess I know now why Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Made me almost want to let out my Charizard and join in on all the fun. Good effort out there, Corbunny. Why don't I get you all sorted? And Ozone, you got a real, you got real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Be a real rival to Hop, would you? Push him and make him both of you stronger. Make the both of you stronger. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You've seen me battle now, Lee. So come on, you gotta let me take on the Pokemon gyms. You join the gym challenge? 
You think you're ready for the single graded competition in, all, in the Gala region? Not putting the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother. If that really what you want to do, you two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially your friend Ozone before you think about getting gym badges. Best to think about getting a Pokedex. Our trainer Pokedex helps them learn a lot of things about all the Pokemon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just a collection of data, you know? It's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Right, right. We get it, Pokedex. Then we're on it. It looks like it's off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, Ozone. That's the kind of enthusiasm that trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm going to be the next champion, so completing a simple Pokedex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. You probably better go tell your mom that we're heading out, though. Very well. Oh. Ozone, did you hear that, just now? I also think there's probably gonna be a Nuzlocke now thinking about it, so I'm gonna have to look up uh, what, but, uh, what the level, the max level is of the first gym leader, so I don't get higher than that. The gate's open, and the Wulu that was there. It was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through the, there, do you? But it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once, and she came back in a in a real state. And that was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterwards. Ozone, what do you say? I don't know. Right. No one wants to get in trouble, least of all me. But deep down, you want to save that Pokemon too, don't you? Hope you're ready for anything because we're going in, Ozone. Well, he decided for me, I guess. Slumbering Weld is over this way. Let's go find... Oh! I that was an accident one. The slumbering weld. That Wulu, where do you think it got off to? The fog is really coming on thick now. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, this might be trouble. I really like this forest, I ain't gonna lie. Close it, close it. I better avoid grinding levels so I look up the level of the gym leader because if I grind too high then I won't be able to use it. Doing all right there, score bunny. Let's be sure you're in tip top shape. There, now let's push on. Rookie D, right? Yeah, I remember this one. This one's actually one of my favorites of this new region. I said I wasn't gonna grind and literally fight the next battle. Did you hear that? Was that a Pokemon crying out, you think? Man, I'm running into Pokemon left and right.
Come on, Ozone. That Wulu might be in real trouble. I doubt it. Man, really thick fog. This is mad. I can't even see my own hand in front of my face. I think I get now why this place is off limits. What in the? If I'm not mistaken, I won't be able to do anything to it. What? The move had no effect on it? Ozone, I can't see anything. You okay? I just keep attacking, I guess. I can't see anything. Huh? What happened? Hop Ozone. What, Lee? How'd you manage to find your way here? Your pants with directions. You always get lost. Well, that's nice to hear from my little brother who had me worried sick. I've been waiting ages for you two and you never showed. Of course I came looking for the both of you. Wait, where's the Wulu? We were trying to rescue the, that Wulu. That little chap just fine. Though all of you had the faintest had fainted by the time I found you here. You know that this place is out of bounds, but it took courage to come here all the same. And I can understand well enough why you did. You did good, Hop. And at least that wool is alright. Yeah, Ozum? I thought we had it when that weird fog started rolling in that mad Pokemon attack. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon. What are you talking about, Hot? It seems the load's stronger than uh, any Pokemon I've ever seen. It, and it just had this sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really. They seemed to pass right through it. Your move passed right through it. So the fearsome Pokemon that you say lived in this slumbering well. Are they actually illusions or something? get strong enough and maybe the two of you could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. For now, let's simply get out of this place. You'll be alright now that I'm here with you. Even if we did get an earful from Lee, what an experience. This will make a pretty fine front page in the tale of my legend. Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to wedge her now. She'll go bare if you leave without a word, even worse than Lee Jen did. Alright, so now I'll go talk to my mom. Oh wait, my mom's this way. Well now, isn't Gorbunny just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to Wedgehurt, aren't you? Here we are. A bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center. Maybe some potions or something. Remember that Corbunny will battle to the very end for you. So don't go pushing the poor deer too hard. 
And you, Scorbunny, look after my little ozone. Come home and rest anytime you need. After all, east or west, home is best. All right, so we'll be heading off to Wedgehurst. I'm gonna cut it here. I'm gonna look into what level the gems are at so that I'll know what level, basically, the limit, essentially. As always, thanks for watching.